the Gresham Arts Festival is back. And this is an event you can attend in person with the entire family. On this segment of Community Hotline, we talk with Sasha Cannell about what you can expect at the 2021 Gresham Arts Festival. Hello, thanks for having me. It's great to see you. Today, we'd like to ask you kind of a rapid fire series of questions about the Gresham Arts Festival. Are you ready for that? Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Including the years when it was called the Gresham Art Walk, how long has this been a Gresham event? 19 years. This is the 19th year. That's amazing. So due to COVID, the Gresham Arts Festival was canceled last year. Why did the city of Gresham decide to bring it back this year? Because we couldn't just cancel it forever. It's a beloved community event, so it had to come back, and it is back. Great. So how many artists have signed on to show their work? We have about 100 artists that are signed up this year. We had a huge wait list. Unfortunately, we're, we weren't allowed to have everyone, but this year we have 100 of them, and they're that's, amazing. That's wonderful. What kind of art can we expect? There's over a dozen mediums, and you'll have everything from photography, wood, sculpture, uh, painting, um, 2D. There's over a dozen of them. So I understand the artists really like uh, showing and selling their work at this event. Do you know why? Honestly, the feedback that I've received is that just the Gresham community is just so welcoming. Our volunteers are amazing, and our artists just love coming to this event and love showing at this event. That's good to hear. So what's the craziest or coolest or most original art that you've ever seen at this event? Oh man, I've seen some crazy stuff, but I think I, I, I won't say my favorite, but one of the things I'm drawn to is Ron Sheldon. He's a copper impression artist. Mm. The work that he does, it's insane. I've never seen anything like it. And it's so beautiful. So beautiful. Well, sounds great. What about kids? Is there anything for them to do? Absolutely. We have a kid's corner this year uh, put on by the pediatric therapy services and there's all sorts of things. There's going to be kids crafts, activities, Disney princesses, a clown. So lots of fun stuff for the kiddos. That sounds great. And really important. What if I get hungry at the Gresham Arts Festival? <laughs> We've got you covered. We've got vendors from all over the Gresham area as well as around the region. So we've got places like Spice of Africa, Three Guys Grilling, Crumble Cookie is gonna be there. So all the food, all the treats. So Sasha, do you have any sponsors for this event? We sure do. So we have our patron of the art sponsors and that's the Gresham Area Chamber of Commerce and the Gresham Outlook. And then we have our curator sponsors and that's Pediatric Therapy Services, Gresham Toyota, Serve Pro, of, Serve Pro of Gresham, and then Clackamas County Bank. Perfect. Yeah. Anything else that we should know about the 2021 Gresham Arts Festival? <sighs> Absolutely. We need volunteers. So if you're willing and able to volunteer, we need you. Um, and then the big thing is that we have moved the festival to the Arts Plaza. So we're all going to be at the Arts Plaza this year. Arts artists, vendors, Kids Village, everything's going to be over at the plaza. It's going to be a beautiful event over there. Wonderful. And just real quick, give me the, the date and the time for this event. Yes. So it is Saturday, July 17th, and it's going to go from 9 to 5 p.m. at the Gresham Arts Plaza. Wonderful. I can't wait. I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks so much. Thank you. And to all of you watching today, be sure to check it out. And from all of us at Metro East, be safe, stay healthy. Mm -hmm.